In this video, learn how to sketch this roof, starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Paysetter Claim Service. Download the remote work guide at adjustertv.com slash paysetter. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Advanced scoping and estimating training videos for independent adjusters. Ride along with us at adjustertvplus.com. Thanks, Laura. And speaking of NACA, we're not that far away from the next NACA convention. If you're not familiar, NACA stands for the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters, and they have an annual conference every January. What makes this conference unique? It's the only one where you, as a professional independent claims adjuster, can interview with 50 or more of the independent adjusting firms all in one place. Tom Balecki, Vice President of Training and Development for the Best Claim Solutions, formerly the Best IRS, and still the leading staffing and recruiting firm in the nation for the uh, PNC market. The IAs, the adjusters are the lifeblood of, of our company as an IA firm. So getting to in front of uh, candidates we've worked with, getting in front of new candidates, uh, building our rosters, perfect place to be. There's a lot of things that NACA provides uh, that are exceptional. Uh, the training, the seminars, the classes. If you're an IA professional, you've got to be here. I'm Ryan Holdhues, I'm the Vice President of Education uh, at Hague. Um, been with Hague for about 20 years. Uh, oversee the uh, Hague certification programs, uh, all of our online training and our books and tools that we sell. Uh, this is a very important conference for uh, the education, especially uh, division of Hague. Uh, we get to see one-on-one -on -one, uh, adjusters uh, from every spectrum of their career from the very beginning uh, to those that have been around a very long time. They're always interested in what we have to offer as far as training goes, what they can do to kind of add to their tool belt, so to speak, as far as training goes, how, how can make them a better adjuster, uh, put them uh, at the front of the line when it comes to deployment time. It's very important for us to be here. It's kind of like a reunion for the, for the folks that do come here and uh, uh, we like to be a part of that. This is probably my 15th or more NACA the event that I've been to. The level of adjusters that are here, they're, they're very interested in uh, not only um, you know, advancing their career uh, and making a long-term career out of adjusting, uh, they're also interested in doing it right. It's important for us to network with adjusters, of course, but for adjusters to network with each other, you know, senior adjusters having kind of a mentee and younger adjusters having a mentor or newer adjusters having a mentor. We have a great uh, partnership with, with, with Adjuster TV and we're very happy to uh, promote the discount, which is, I believe, Adjuster TV is the discount code and you save 10% uh, 10 10 off the retail price. Any of our online training, individual standalone classes, any of our certifications, whether it be Hague Certified Reviewer or our long-standing Hague Certified Inspector courses, um, and any of our books and tools. So anything we sell on HagueEducation.com, you can save 10% just by using the Adjuster Just TV discount code. Joining the association is quite inexpensive, and for more information about the conference and to join the association, visit AdjusterTV.com slash NACA right now. All right, in this video, learn how to sketch this roof from scratch. This video is just one part of a very big 10-part Xactimate sketch training found exclusively inside AdjusterTVPlus.com. If you're a member of Adjuster TV Plus, you already have access to this full training. If not, you can start your free trial right now at AdjusterTVPlus.com. And now here's Jeffrey Conrad, who is an Xactimate affiliate trainer, as well as the training director at Crawford & Company, to show you step-by-step -step how to build a very common roof in Xactimate's sketch. All right, so I want, I want you all to, to marvel at this roof here. Okay, that looks pretty scary, right? Oh, I guess that's not. All right, that's the attitude I want to see. <laughs> all right. So all this is, is just a, a main gable with a whole bunch of gable overbuilt, okay? And it's actually one of the uh, most fun roofs that I like to do, okay? Because it looks scary, but it's not. All right, so let's go and let's create a new sketch by coming over here to the bottom. Hit that drop down and just choose new sketch. And let's study this roof. On page 112, it tells us that all roofs have an 812 slope. Okay, so we've got to remember, before we create all those little gable ends, we've got to change our main roof to an 812 so that we don't have to redo this thing again because we forgot to set the pitch. Okay, 
It also tells us that our main gable is 45 by 32. And I know what you're saying. Well, Jeff, where do you see that? Well, sometimes Xactimate will put the main roof in the instructions. Well, it's missing there. But if you look at the, the actual sketch diagram on page 112, it's right under the label. It says 45 by 32. Okay, so sometimes they try to see if you're paying attention. Okay. All right, so y'all look up here and we'll get started on this one. So I'm gonna go click on my roof, drop down. And because we had our previous roof, we selected hip. I need to make sure that I'm aware of that and select the gable. Now, the first thing that I do here is I'm gonna stamp my gable, go look up here. And before I do anything, I'm gonna to go to the properties of this gable roof here and I'm gonna do what? Change that pitch so I don't, I don't forget. And I'm gonna change that slope rise A and B to what? Eight. And once I type in eight, I just click off of it and it accepts it. All right, go ahead and stamp that 12 by 12 gable roof and change that slope rise to an eight. All right, so let's go ahead and set our dimensions. So we're gonna go 45 feet horizontally. So just drag it out, shift it to 45. Use those key, control key, control an inch, shift the foot. So if you notice, if I have a roof here and sometimes if I'm not paying attention, see how I have that little solid blue line? Okay, that kind of outlines the center of this roof here. If I click on that blue line, okay, I can actually move it. I don't know if they changed it. Okay, but that blue line is the, the wall, my, my exterior wall. So the distance between that blue line and the edge of the roof is the, the soffit uh, length. Or, so I think Xactimate fixed it. There was a time where you could grab that blue line and you're thinking you're changing the edge of the roof, but you're moving I did the, the wall. One, so yeah, so I think they, I did an update, so apparently enough people complained about that. <laughs> they took it away, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my 45 across and I'm gonna drag this down and get this measurement here to 32. 45 by 32. Okay, so I'm looking at our our exercise and the next thing that I'm doing you can whenever you look at a roof how you tackle that roof you'll you may go in with a strategy and you're like oh well that didn't work you know so sometimes each roof has a different way of like attacking it and sometimes you know it's it's okay to delete it and and, and approach that roof from a different uh, different direction okay but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do that that entry foyer next okay so y'all watch me do this one so I'm gonna look at my span of my entry foyer, and I'm gonna see that my span is 25 feet, fantastic. But that span or that roof overbuild is sitting in the middle of my roof face here. So I have to be aware of that. So this entry foyer is going to break at 10 feet, drag across 25, and that'll create a 25 span in the middle of my main roof. So watch me, I'm gonna grab my brake tool, I'm just gonna kind of just walk it out five feet from the left edge. Oh, excuse me, 10 feet. Very good, 10 feet. Okay, there's my 10 foot. Now I'm going to click, hold, and drag 25. Once I get to 25, I should have 10 feet on either side. And when I let go, there are my three handles. Now, what handle am I gonna pull off of the middle one am I going to hold down the control key yes. yes I'm creating a roof so that's exactly what I'm do hold down that control key grab that middle handle and walk it down and it tells me that it's going to be six feet so I'm just going to hold down the control key and bump it up three inches and boom I did that very quickly okay you guys will get there so your turn grab that brake tool Walk it out 10 feet from the left edge of that roof. Click hold and drag across 25. Let it go. 
Hold down the control key. Drag it down six feet. All right, so let's just do a, a, a quick check of our measurements, okay? So we should have 45 feet across. Our span of our gable is 32. We should have 10 feet before our entry foyer uh, starts. Our span of our entry foyer is 25, six, and 10. Greg, God bless you. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create that garage gable off to the right, okay? And this one can be a little tricky because I've been, I've been telling you that always break it at the span. Well, let me show you what happens with this example, okay? Y'all just look up here. If I use my break tool to create this garage over here, that span of that garage is 24 feet, all right? So if I start measuring down here, See how it stops at the ridge? And I, and I, can, go, I can only go 16 feet? Mm -hmm. All right, so when that happens, okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cr click on the edge of the roof face that you're going to extend, okay? So I'm gonna extend out the F1 roof. So at this point, it doesn't really matter where I break this roof here, but don't break it so close to that edge because it really makes it difficult to grab that handle. So I like to kind of get close to the ridge, but not on the ridge. And I'm just gonna click here, all right? So I've got my two handles. So this is where I hold down the control key because I'm creating that garage. And I'm gonna drag it out 22 feet. Y'all see that in the uh, exercise? 22? Yes, 22. Okay, so now that I've, I've pulled it out 22 feet, now I'm gonna click on this roof three here grab this bottom handle, and this is where I'm gonna drag down the span of 24. See how I'm going past that ridge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is how I'm gonna to get to 24. Oop. And by doing so, it allowed me to create that gable end off of a gable end, just like that. Okay? So let's do it together. Okay, grab your brake tool somewhere along that F1 edge of that roof, just click one time. Should give you those two handles. You sh it should throw it maybe that other handle on the other side of that roof, but we wanna extend off of the top roof face. Hold down that control key and drag it out 22 feet. Just to remind you, okay, make sure that you drag this handle down and you don't set the span here. Watch what happens when I set the span to be 24. Remember, I'm clicking on the measurement, which I want you to stay away from. If I type in 24, look at my roof. It looks great right now. Oh, they fixed it. Usually it'll throws it out into both directions, but I don't know why it didn't do that. But what I was trying to make it do is sometimes it'll look something like that. It goes in equal directions. So it looks like Xactimate's doing some updates and it's making me look like a liar. But anyways. All right. I always drag that handle down, get to 24, and I just stay away from clicking on measurements. If you, wanna, if you make a mistake, like for example, if I, if I pull this up, rather than me try to battle that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this roof label and see how it just selects that roof overbuild and just hit the delete key. If you've already got it, go ahead and name, name your roofs. So we'll name this one the garage. And let's go back and name the entry foyer. That's really critical whenever you take the exam because the exam's gonna say, what is the square count for the garage? And if you didn't label it, you're like, okay, which one's the garage? So be very aware of that. And if you want, you can go ahead and call this one the main gable. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is this east roof, which is basically the same roof that we just did, just on the other side of our, our main gable. So just watch me, okay? Grab my brake tool, and the span 
of this east roof is what? 20. 22. Okay. So remember, I can't, I can't measure out 22 foot, 22 foot, 22 feet because of my ridge. So remember, I'm just going to just break it somewhere along this left edge. Control key, pull off that top handle and drag it out 20 feet. Okay. And I'm going to adjust it back to 20 feet. Then I'm going to click on the label, grab the bottom handle and set my span to 22. And really use those keyboard keys. Control an inch, shift a foot. So my span is 22. My distance from the main roof is 20. And we'll call this the east roof. Don't be afraid to holler at me if you need me. Need me? Yep, absolutely. I'll do it again. So grab my break tool. I'm just going to somewhere, somewhere break it along this left edge of this F1 slope. I've got, nope, well, it does because I want to pull off the top edge. I'm going to extend out the F1. So I'll always break it somewhere along that, that left edge of that F1 slope. Then, because I want to create, I'm going to hold down the control key and drag it out 20 feet, which is the distance from the edge of the roof. Okay. Once I've got that, I'm going to click back on my roof label. I got my four handles. I'm going to grab the bottom one and set my span to be 22. Okay. Let's do a double check here. So currently the span of our of our east roof here. Let me go ahead and label it. <clears throat> okay. The span of our east roof is 22. Okay. The distance is 85. Well, here we can lasso this whole thing. 85. This span is 24. We're at 22, 10, 25, 10, 20. Always do those double checks. Okay, because if your first measurement's wrong and you keep building off of it, everything else is going to be wrong. Let's wrap this one up. So all we have left to do is that north gable. So when I'm looking at this north gable, I look at the span, and the span is 18 feet, but I'm pulling off that left edge of that east roof. So I know that I don't have to click and drag my brake tool. I'm just going to click one time, but I'm going to break it at the span of 18. So I'm going to grab my brake tool, walk it out 18 feet from the left edge of my roof, click one time, okay? I'm creating a roof, so I'm going to hold down that control key, click and drag up four feet, let go. That way my span is correct, and I don't have to make any additional adjustments there. Okay? All right, I'll do it with you. Brake tool. You're going to walk it out 18 feet. Once you get to 18 feet, click one time. Okay. Hold down that control key. Click hold and drag it up four feet. And don't forget, you can watch this entire 10-part Xactimate Roof Sketch series inside of AdjusterTVPlus.com by becoming a member right now. Adjuster TV Plus also has extensive scoping videos, a complete stability training, live stream trainings, and tons more. We add new video trainings every single month. So come right along with us at Adjuster TV Plus. All right, that's it for me. Catch us next time right here on Adjuster TV. Thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. We have nothing to fear but fear itself and spiders.